Les is here in the uh, fast track. He's bailing and uh, playing bail skittles down the hill. Another one landed. Here's Bob. He's turning. Another drop. Missed a bit. <laughs> Morning, everybody. It's uh, scorching again. My head's burning, and uh, we're in uh, another one of the Duke's estates. And uh, we're uh, Les is in the field with the fast track. He's um, bailing up. Bob's just gone back with the Turner. He's going to take that off and swap that for a bucket because he's got some. Uh, He's got some garden waste to move, apparently. What the gardeners have dropped off. And uh, the Duke's over the hill, two fields away, and he's rowing up. Les is chasing him round with a baler. And uh, I would think probably another hour this will be done. And he's going to chase him over the hill and uh, see how he's getting on in the other three fields over there. So uh, Bez is playing uh, bale skittles down the hill. He's letting them roll. See? There we go, got him a target set up. Got in a bit of speed, that one. He's trying to get them all in a line down here for us. Oh, that's in the mug pile. Never mind, we'll get it out. So, yeah, so uh, that's what's happening today. And it's getting hotter. And hopefully, tomorrow we're going to cart get all these carted off back uh, up to the estate which is where are we right at the top of that hill behind us there right on the horizon that's where we've got a cart them to so we've got a narrow lane down there we've got the village to negotiate bit of a bad junction because cars come flying around there at high speed and then we've got all the way up the hill so it's something down the gearboxes up there then into the stockyard, which like I said, is on the top of that hill right over there. So uh, it's coming up. Yeah, they're starting to line up these bales. All along the bottom here, quite a few. Just seen a couple of deers go out of the uh, road up per hay and gone through the hedge into that green field. Don't know where they came from. Right, hang on. They've got one, uh, got one chasing, chasing him down the field now. This one going to go through the hedge. Oh, it's gone into the uh, changing direction. That one. <laughs> oh, don't stop there! Don't stop there! Ah, it's moving. That's it. We're at. We're at. We're safe. I'm going to hit the other two. Yeah, lovely. Right, we'll go and find the Duke, see what he's up to. Oh, we're just going through the hedge. There's another one here. He hasn't rode up yet. So we've got all this one to do. Gate seen better days. We've got all this one to do there. That's what we call the strip field. And there's that one over there. And that's where the Duke is rowing up. Go 
films. Take that off. Put you near myself, think now. Let's have a look. Where is he? Ugh. Oh, he's using the little two-wheel drive Z to the new one. <laughs> Giving it a whirl. That's his favourite, really. He likes that one. That's the calf recovery tractor that is uh, putting it to work with the uh, Franz guard on today. Yeah, he's cracking on, but uh, the big bad Les is chasing him, so he's got to keep moving. This is a uh, this is the dangerous gateway tomorrow because you've got to come off this field, down this slope, literally down this slope, and then you've got to turn left at sort of 90 degrees, and there's probably a 30 degree camber and then you've got to go along that edge with the cart trailer on fully loaded and then obviously on the way out you've got to do the same and the camber's leaning this way however we amp tipped over here I do not know but there's all that to do there and then there's another one just through that hedge there and round the corner there's probably the same again round there so yeah busy 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 tomorrow few cows laying down over there in the distance enjoying the sunshine and you can see them are not they're nearly the same color as the uh, the grass so yeah that's going to be uh, our office window tomorrow Flock of pigeons. Couple more runs round and he's done this one, I think. Yeah, just having a look round. Um, and it's a little bit too windy. Like I said the other day, we've, we've bought a drone and uh, we're having a lump of concrete there. That's not going to go through the baler. Chuck that in the hedge. Um, yeah, we bought a drone the other day and flying it is uh, it's a challenge. Let's put it that way. Trying to work out whether it's facing away from you or towards you, which way is left and right. Up and down is not too bad. Um, it's fully automated, it's got GPS on and everything, but we just still try and get his head around it. And looking at it today, it's a little bit too windy because I would have liked to got some aerial shots. But uh, so, uh, no drone flying today, I don't think. So, I'm just walking uh, through the field, just show you the view. I'm just going to pan around, show you the view straight ahead over there is the crooked spire of uh, Chesterfield probably about four or five mile in the distance and we've got over there we've got uh, the Duke's Hills all the, you just see the mast and the cows in the field and then around there is the woods then on the top we've got uh, more of the Duke's estate up there right on the, on the skyline there's all the other fields and there's these down here Les is in that one there with the fast track. He's bailing. The other one, the, this one, two below, and there's two over the back of this hedge. So uh, yeah, that's going to be the office window for the next couple of days. Here he comes. He's following me around. I think this is probably the last pass for this field. It's looking a bit thin at this end, but uh, it'll make a bail. He's just said that uh, the two-wheel drive Zeta 
is a little bit better for turning on the headlands than the four-wheel drive one. It's getting a tighter corner, so it's uh, making it a bit easier for him. So he says that's why he's going to give it a try. But yeah, he's off down to the next field now. It's just down in the strip field now, starting again. Lezers were still rolling bales down the hill in the fast track. So don't forget if you've enjoyed the video today, then uh, click the subscribe button, click the like button, give us a big thumbs up. Leave a comment if you want, tell us where you're watching from. If you're one of our new subscribers, we've had quite a few this last uh, last week. Um, tell us where you're from. Leave a comment and uh, we we'll try and answer all of them. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Good morning. So uh, yesterday we were uh, bailing up in all these fields and today we're going to start carting them. However, I've arrived at the field and I've got to find the boys because the uh, the pensioners are already here, Bob and Chris. And uh, I suspect they've gone to the furthest field away, down the um, down the funny uh, 90 degree cambered bend. So I think we started in peril first. So uh, I'm just going to find them now. Bob's just gone back with his first run, but uh, as you can see. Les has been playing uh, bale skittles again. They're in every field except the ones where we want to. So Chris has gone round here to uh, retrieve a couple that's gone through these trees. I don't know where he's gone. Yeah, there's all this yet here. And uh, he's gone round there. So um, yeah, there's a bale there. So that's come under the tree. You can see where it's flattened the grass there. So that's come off that hillside and right down there. It could be anywhere. And I've uh, I've only got four on so far. Ah, he's coming back now. I can see him just through the trees. He's found another one. the other side to find that one. So that's my first load out of Death Valley, right around the other side, around there, and uh, we're all roped on, roped up and uh, strapped up and uh, ready to roll. So uh, try and make it back up that steep hill and round the perilous uh, turn.
in the Manor too. And uh, there's Rat Weasel. He's laid on the dashboard <laughs> operating the dials. He keeps knocking it into forwards and reverse. Shed's starting to fill up now. Up to the roof. Working his way back. It. Let's go and get another load. Come on, come with me. Let's go and fetch some more. for another load 
and I'm just setting up right with this one. Ah, we just had his dinner, so I just had his A-Carter's lunch up at the uh, farmhouse command centre, and uh, so it's about two o'clock now. Sun's gone in, it's clouded over again, so uh, we're back in the field. Uh, three more fields to go, and apparently there's uh, some in the woods. That's uh, lesser skittles have gone down into the woods, so we've got to go and find those as well. Bob's just getting loaded. He's sat in the cab with Chris, catching up on the gossip after dinner time. Yeah, apparently some of the bales have rolled down the hill and gone into those trees through the hedge. So, uh, we've got to try and get them out. That's a job for tomorrow. You can see the uh, fox and badger trail all the way up through the field. That little line going up through the grass all the way up, up into the next hedge. That's the same route they take every night. Bob's loaded, he's away. He's off back up to the estate Unloading into a, a different barn now. Starting a fresh pile, the other one's full. Bob's just gone back down the hill. There's the uh, ZT saw earlier on in the video with a turner on, and now it's back on the uh, calf recovery system.
That's it. We're on his way. That's uh, nearly it for today. We're going to leave it. We've got uh, one, two, three more loads. Bob, Chris are over there just uh, loading the last couple of loads and uh, I've just noticed that uh, there's a big fire where uh, there's smoke, there's fire and I've just heard all the uh, sirens it's, uh, I don't know if you can see or not but it's right over there and it's uh, what we call the pony field where we, uh, we've got some more bit of land down there so I uh, don't know what's going off but there's a lot of smoke anyway so what the hell check it out but, uh, yeah if you've enjoyed the video give us a thumbs up little Leyland uh, worked uh, very hard today up and down the hill so I think it's in about 10 runs up and down the hill so uh, yeah give us a thumbs up click like click subscribe and we'll see you on the next video I'm knackered ready for a beer see you later bye